So today, nice and early, we are going to get rid of this old deck. I have a Pioneer deck in here and it's, it's like 10 years old. So no mic, it's got Bluetooth, but it only works with iPhone. It's some old big name brand restrictive, you know, let Apple pay me money so that I can limit the consumer crap. So what I went with was a joying deck it's like a 10 point something it's a little big but i think it'll work i think it's just the right size for the car so this is the old one <clears throat> this is the old pioneer in here it worked great for what it did 10 years ago but <clears throat> that thing's just it's just sitting in there it's unbolted there's literally one bolt holding it in there um, i pulled it all out to hook up a mic and found out <laughs> It don't have a spot for a mic so um, I'll set you guys up and then show you this one so what I'm gonna end up doing is put in these uh, so I have two tweeters full cow tweak tweeters I'm gonna put in the window like on the channel over here <clears throat> and then I have of course the six by nines that go in the rear deck those need to be wired up. Um, these are the this is the Focal ones that I'm gonna be running. So, got my wiring. Um, I had some of this, but it was also hella old. Um, I just didn't wanna put it in. So in here is, you can't really see it, but there's a JL in that, just a little mini one. That's already wired. So being the JL and the Focal only take 50 watts i'm just gonna wire them straight to the deck instead of running them to the amp because the amp's like 200 watt a, a, it's like 200 watts a channel i believe i don't know it's way too much for that those little speakers so um yeah that's basically what i'm gonna do today um, right now i'm just putting in the actual head unit and then i'm gonna wire up the tweeters mount the tweeters um i have a rear view camera already wired in i just don't have the rear wired up or mounted the camera. I'm not probably not going to do that I might just wire up the front side so that I don't have to take the dash back apart um, But yeah, man, that's it. I'm gonna set this up unbox it show you guys what it comes with and stuff and then Pull it out wire all the speakers in so <laughs> Wish me luck back to it So, because nothing comes easy in this car, which I don't mind, I love it. Um, kind of sadistic like that, you know? I love not being able to just put anything in because nothing's bolt in. Um, correction, door panels, they were bolt in. <laughs> Anyways, so this shit, so the way the, di the dash is designed, right? That face sits pretty much flush up against this. So I got to I had to extend this out for the centerpiece here the whatever this is called the dash install kit. So now the border here is too big for the hole in this as this is perfect for a dual den. Um and then normally this sits behind it. It doesn't sit out. So what I got to do is cut out a little bit on the edge of this so it'll fit. I'll show you guys. So if you kind of see, see how it doesn't fit up there? It'll fit on that side, right? But then that side's hanging over, that side's hanging over. So I'm gonna have to cut that out, which doesn't matter because if you look at it, let me put this back and show you. If 
you see, that's what it is in there. You're not seeing the bezel at all. So there's an, there's no point of, I mean, if I cut it out, you're not gonna be able to see that. You're gonna have to look way up in there to see anything. And I'm gonna paint all that uh, on the actual the brains. I'm gonna paint the edges black so you, you won't be able to see it with the shadow. So um, the controller for the AC fits, like you can see it still. It's down here, but I don't know. I kind of want to make it go up more than it is. Let me show you guys. Hold up. So you can still see the controller barely. Barely. So I'm going to try and figure out a way to move this up more. Because I still have room before I get in the way of the AC. Which was the whole plan of when I bought this. Because it's got adjustments on the back side. But it's all the way down. So that means I'm going to have to drill new holes in this and hopefully I don't kill this. Or I got to figure out a way to either cut this out and move this whole thing up. I'll figure it out. I got to brainstorm a little bit and figure out what I'm going to do. But Okay, so I think I figured out a solution. Not an easy one, but it'll look cleaner. So I took the head unit apart, <clears throat> which don't do whatever you see me doing on here if you do it and you break your crap guess what that's your problem bro i don't know what i'm doing so anyways i'm gonna figure out how to get this heat like so so if i can mount this up here like that or you know somewhere around there then i can put this up more and i'll have room for <clears throat> For the the AC controllers, I really want to get it up like that, but I don't know. I got, it kind of blocks the vents, so I think just like that. I think that should be enough right there. Um, yeah, man, it's gonna be a lot of work, bro. <laughs> but I'm about for it. I think I got this, so. We'll see how it turns out. Uh, this probably won't be out for a minute, but um, actually I might just throw this one out there just as an update, cause I'd wait to do like really long videos, but just an, an, an entire video in one thing. Cause I don't want like parts and pieces and little videos with nothing on it. Like sometimes I watch stuff like that and I actually enjoy it. So yeah, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Okay, so I didn't show you this while I did it because the other way I was planning on doing it didn't work. So this is just to get it up, what, like an inch, three quarters of an inch. So what I did was <clears throat> just made these brackets and then welded in little nuts on the backside um, so that it can be up more and out i couldn't just make it straight up it has to be at an angle so that the cover the face can go still go in behind it one problem with buying not a like pioneer alpine some big name brand head unit is they have quality control these guys don't the rcas weren't working because the prongs when they installed them they didn't bend the little there's little prongs that bend down that the the positive of the RCA touches and it wasn't touching them. The prongs were flat. Whoever installed it didn't ever bend them down. So that took forever to figure out, but it's done. It works. It all works now. So what I'm going to do is wire in the GPS 4G antennas and then clean up the wiring and put this in for the f one of the final times. I have a rear view camera, it's already wired in the car. There's a plug over there. It runs under the carpet, but I don't have my reverse light hooked up on my shifter. I'm missing the switch. There's another switch that goes on top of this, which I can make a spacer or whatever, but I just haven't done it yet. I'm not gonna do it right now. So, you know, I'm trying to cut corners on the dumb stuff just so that I can get it out on the road. I have alignment to do, I have to bleed the brakes, I have to put the, the tires on, um, 
I have to get registration insurance so I gotta get the AC charged so I'm trying to just deal with the stuff to get it out on the road and then that way I still have projects left to do you know after the fact so long story short I just wanted to touch on that because I didn't really describe that. This is going to be pretty short. Then I got to mount the the sub, which I'll show you guys after I'm done with this. So, yes, sir. Back to it. So, what I'm going to be doing now is putting the sub in. Um, bad news. Fried my amp, my sub amp, being a rookie. I haven't put an amp in a car in probably like six years, five years. I don't know. Well, no, like two years because my Honda had a uh, sub in it. Anyways, I didn't disconnect the power and ground like a bleed. So I'll show you what happened basically. But I'm super irritated, man. But mistakes happen. At least it's on my own car. So. So this is the amp that's now toast. Yeah, made me almost cry. So I was tightening the last speaker um, wire and the Allen key turned and these were at the perfect exact same height, which literally they have to be at the perfect height. Like how it is now, if an Allen key goes over it, it won't ground out. But it literally was the perfect height. And as I turned, the last turn to tighten that it just boom and it touched the light turned on blew the fuse and then i smelled the burning plastic of death and i hoped it was the fuse so i changed the fuse um internally like back in my mind i knew i'm like dude no you you killed it so i had just set the gains it was done Literally had to mount the box, that was it. So, change the fuse. As soon as I hooked the battery up, boom. I told myself, you know, no, nah, maybe let's just double check. Now I'm freaking out thinking somehow I wired something wrong or something. I had this old dusty fuse in the box. Put that in, bow, blew that too. So, as soon as I hooked the battery up. So that's internally shorted, but good news is it, lets me know that my wiring was done correctly <laughs> so because <laughs> if this was wrong it would have blew both those fuses so um and or if the grounds were off it would have fried the hell of stuff it would have been way off so like it would have been horrible so what i'm doing now enough of the sob story i literally bought an amp that is going to be here tomorrow so I bought an amp that I've always wanted from a company that I've always wanted to do business with. Now that I get more into the sound, I've been into music since I was first driving, man. My, they, my cousin, my uncles, like, always have music in their car, so. But it's always big name, you know, Kicker, Alpine, Pioneer, you know, JVC, JL Audio, all that stuff. There's real beat competition stuff. They don't run that stuff. They run completely different brands that you probably never even heard of but that stuff hits way harder than most of this main name brand stuff this is a good sub this is like one of the best kickers you can buy it's a l7 solar barrack uh dual voice coil four ohm you know it's a decent speaker so 800 watt well it's a thousand watt rms it can handle can really handle more than that but they they advertise that anyways um you'll see the amp when it comes should fit in the same spot which was really the part i was freaking out about is because i just made that amp rack and it's like perfect fit for that amp you know and the other amp so long story short this is what i'm doing now is mounting these in here so let me see if i can finagle this camera i'll put my sausage fingers in the way all i'm gonna do is put a bracket up here like this and then put a piece of wood here. I don't know how I'm gonna mount it to the box yet. Probably just wood screws. And, um, I might use those same wood nut certs. Um, yeah, so that just one side. Put on the other side here. I'm just gonna use nut certs and bolts. 
so which I don't know if I feel confident but I'm gonna have four of them at least on like you know two on each side and then that one in the front I don't think I'll have this movement covered and this movement covered so it shouldn't go nowhere I don't know we'll see still throwing stuff around in my head trying to figure out what I'm gonna do so all right back to it With my problem solving my patriot, booing up and get tuned up. Rubbed off the bracelet, stay dedicated and thankful to my camp. What about your camp? Tatini and my loved ones, they get stamped. Ooh, ooh, soil tested. So the deck is in, tweeters are in. Just wanted to show you guys this. Forgot to record this, so I'm definitely doing this after the fact, but that's it. Came out really sleek, I think. I like it. It's in there enough to where it doesn't really conflict with the vintage air. There's the other tweeter over there. Tweeter over there. Um, you guys know from the last one, the rear deck is done. It is in. So, those are the antennas, the 4G, and then... The Wi-Fi, and then there's GPS for the dash, and there's another GPS over there for the um, speedometer for the cluster. Um, yeah, man. I figured I'll put it out for uh, Christmas. So, Merry Christmas to you guys. You know, hope you and your families well. Hope you guys can appreciate the blessings. You know, we're all blessed. Everybody's. Got their own struggles, man. Don't take your blessings as, as whatever. You know, you're breathing. You're watching this. You got something to watch this on. Trust me, you're blessed. So, uh, much love to you guys. All the support means a lot. You know, rocking with your boy. So, here's the next one. It's up on jack stands right now. Wheels off. I haven't seen this in so long. Oh, it looks so good. I can't wait to drive it. That's the sneak peek for what's coming up. So... Gotta put that to work. Hopefully I don't burn the new spot down. <laughs> Anyways, Merry Christmas. You already know, like, comment, subscribe, share, what the things, all the things. Merry Christmas, y'all. Like.